Hello. I'm glad that you're watching this. My name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve, and today we're learning how to clone. Not people, not sheep, but you know, like paint stuff out of things. It's a very useful skill, something you'd normally do in Photoshop, but you could do it inside of Fusion. Let's go. Here's a shot of some buildings. We're gonna be nice to ourselves today because this is just a simple intro and it's a static shot. But let's say that we want to get rid of this crane. Look at this crane just sucking. We want a regular building, not a crane. Let's clone this out. With my playhead over my footage here in the edit page, I'll click on the fusion button down below and that'll open up this footage in the fusion page. To clone this crane out, we're gonna use a effect called paint. You think you'd use an effect called clone, but you don't. It's called paint. We're gonna paint it out. You get it? Okay. Let's select media in one and I'll hit shift spacebar and type P-A-I-N-T and hit return. That'll add a paint node after our media in. So this paint effect, you can do like a million things with it and it's kind of confusing. There's a ton of tools and different modes and stuff. Here's what you need to do to like clone something. Here in the inspector, you want the second icon that says clone. And up here in this little overlay, you want the fourth icon over just the regular paintbrush stroke. That is going to act like a normal cloning operation. If you've ever cloned something in Photoshop, this will make ton of sense. Now we want to select the area to clone from. I'll just hold down alt and click in the sky. That'll make a little red X. And now we can just paint over this by selecting areas that we want to clone from and then clicking and painting on the areas that we want to clone to. All right, so that's most of the sky. I can click and drag with my middle mouse button. And let's say, let's just grab the top of another building here to kind of make this edge a little nicer. I'll just grab the top here. I'll alt click on this corner here. And then I'm gonna start with wherever I want that corner to be. And we'll just kind of go over it like that and kind of clean that up a little bit. And you can kind of see the crane here. If that bothers you, you can go through and clone that out. It doesn't really bother me. It kind of looks like a fire escape or something. So I'm kind of just gonna go with it. This part's a little soft too. So again, I'll alt click on the top of something and we'll just kind of do something like that. It's what we refer to in the business as a bit of a hack job, but it's far enough away nobody's gonna notice. You know, you could spend a million hours cloning this better, but that's how you do it. Now we have a nice, wait a minute, look at this thing. That's a, t that's a dead giveaway. That's a dead giveaway, but we need a smaller brush. Let's go over to the brush controls and we're just gonna bring down the size a little bit, something like this. Again, I'll hit Alt and we'll just click and drag. Just copy that sky color over that rope or cable or chain or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call that. Is it rope? I don't know. We can take the softness down a little bit here so that we can get a little bit closer to that building without ruining stuff. And there we go. And anytime that you clone something, it's nice to just kind of zoom out a little bit because you can kind of see it a little better from afar. And I don't know if you can see it on the recording, but you can kind of see the clone marks here. And so what I like to do is get a big soft brush, really soft, really big. You can kind of test how big it is by cloning it onto something that just doesn't mix at all. So that's kind of what our brush is doing. And I'm just gonna kind of go over things with a really soft brush here, just so that it doesn't look obviously cloned. So like this part, it's like a different, color, bring the size way down. Again, we'll just kind of try and bring that in to blend that a little better. It's all about blending. Like I said, this doesn't make a ton of sense like really close, but it's fine. Nobody's gonna look at this like finished shot and be like, oh, wait, this part looks a tiny bit soft right there. And if you're worried about it, well, why don't you do just a better job than me? But that's basically how you clone stuff, okay? And when you're done, just go down to the edit, and now we have our nice painted out footage here in our edit page and can continue on with life. So there you go. That's basically how to paint things out in Fusion. Now, I know that this is a very easy version of this, but you can imagine what it would be like if uh, things were moving around. If you want to take a look at that, let me know in the comments and I'll make one about that. <laughs> Baby, yes. For now, you can learn more about Fusion by going on to this video and learning all of the things about it. Well, at least all the things that I say. Learning some of the things about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.